Hello, I'm Mark and welcome to this new Uduino tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use advanced feature of Uduino. We are going to extend an existing library so that we can use it in Unity. For this example, I'm going to use the long key. The encoder is connected to the pin 2 and 3 of my Arduino board. So now I open a new empty sketch in Arduino. So I'm going directly to the library manager to download an existing encoder library, so I use this one. Now we can open an example of this library, encoder basic. Okay, so there are some stuff here, I'm gonna copy everything and paste it in the new sketch. My encoder is connected to the pin 2 and 3 of my board, so I change some things. Now we have to add Uduino. I'm gonna include Uduino.h at the top of the file, and then I'm gonna create the new Uduino object. I'm gonna name it encoder. I'm gonna remove this serial thing. Now in loop, we have to constantly check for an update from Unity. So we have to use Uduino.update. The library is writing all the time in the serial, what we want is to write only when the board is connected. We have to use the condition if Uduino is connected and then to write all the code inside of this library. If we don't do that, it's gonna break the detection of the board process. Great. So now we can upload the Back in Unity, we create right away a script named read encoder. So this script is going to get the value from Arduino so that we can use it in Unity. So at the top of the script, we type using Uduino. And on the start function, we are going to call a delegate function each time a value is received. So Uduino manager dot instance dot on data received. We use this syntax to call the delegate plus equal data received. We have to create this function. Data received takes by default two arguments, a string data and Uduino device board in case we have multiple board connected. In this uh, delegate function, we can simply debug log the value received. Drag and drop the script. Press play, and if we turn the encoder, it's working. Depending on the library, the value is not necessarily gonna be a number. You can parse it or do whatever with the data in the delegate function. Well, that's it for this video. You can extend as many libraries as you want. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.